everyone, it's Carly and welcome here back to my channel and welcome into my home office. I did a little poll on my Instagram just with some of my new stationary um, items. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a little haul as well as an office tour and I'm so happy so many of you love stationary as much as I do because I had so many requests to do this video. So thank you guys for sharing your feedback and if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely do so. I will have my Instagram link down below. I share my daily life um, just throughout the day things that I'm loving things that I'm doing and I'd love to connect with you over there so don't forget to do that stationery is like little things that bring me so much joy and happiness and I feel like right now it's fitting to do a video like this because many of you guys are still um, at home working in your home offices and I think right now we're trying to make like normal things feel normal and sometimes you can feel just like a little bit in the slump and i felt that way for sure during quarantine and so having things like a fun notebook or a new pen or a new calendar something like that to keep me motivated and excited to work every day is huge and it can really make a difference so i encourage you to shop through some of the links that i've shared or even go out to target find something um like a cheap little notebook that makes you happy and hopefully that can like change your mindset a little bit i know that it won't like save the world but i think little things really do help right now and hopefully this video brings you joy and motivation so if you are excited about the video definitely give it a huge thumbs up if you are new to my channel i would love to have you subscribe so hit that red subscribe button and be a part of this community and this channel and stick around for the next video so without further ado let's get into this haul i'm having a really weird hair day so i apologize about that but i have my little drink so let's get into this video let's get into the haul i think i'm going to start out with um my notebooks because they're the babies. So the first one that I have here is actually um, a little pack that Sebastian ordered from Amazon. And so before I forget, everything that I talk about will be linked down below. Everything with the haul, everything in my office, just make sure you check down below. Um, and if I forget something, call me out because sometimes it's hard to remember what I need to link. But anyway, um, so these we got off Amazon and Sebastian was kind enough to give me a notebook. So this one I really like just because it's a nice like cardboard. There's nothing on it. It's very minimal and sleek, but I think it'd be fun if you like have stickers or highlighters or something like that. You could draw little quotes um, and just like really make it yours. But this one I figured it'd be nice to just leave plain. And it's just a nice um, lined notebook, which I love. I um, use this one for like online courses and stuff. I love to um, make notes notes and just go back and study. I know sometimes it can feel like wasteful to write on paper, but I try to do things like in other areas of my life so that I can continue to use a notebook. So I am a big fan of writing notes. So I use this for my online courses and all of that. And it's just nice and little and you can put it in your backpack, um, your purse, your grocery list, whatever you want to make this. I think it's nice to have like a little easy notebook to run around with. So that's my first one. My second one, I couldn't help myself. I love pink and cheetah print and fun, exciting, brightness. And so I was at Hobby Lobby and I saw this and loved it. And I was there a couple of days ago and it was still available. So if I can find it online, I'll link it for you. Um, but it's so cute and this is the thing that makes me so happy. So I'm practicing Spanish on the side and I love to write down my sentences or verbiage that like, I'm not remembering, it's just easy to write it down for me. And so again, it's just a nice lined notebook. And I like this one because it has a little, maybe I can show you. It has a little page marker, which I think is very helpful on something like this where I write my lessons down and um, you know, if I wanna go back and study that specific lesson or if you have like, I don't know, certain things like do for work and you wanna keep like a little tab on it. I don't know, there's so many different ways to use a nice little marker, but I really love it. And also it like helps you know where to start your next page. I don't know. I just find that that's like a nice little feature. So again, I got this one at Hobby Lobby and they get like progressively bigger. So it's a bigger size, but still, fairly small and then this is my newest one I got off Amazon it's just a spotty little notebook and it's my biggest one and it's brand new so I don't have anything in it um, I'm excited to fill it up and this pretty much like does it for me I don't really need any more notebooks until I fill these up hopefully so um, yeah it's just a nice big size again there's endless possibilities for notebooks I have loved doing a gratitude journal so I thought 
that maybe like once I fill up my planner, I can use something like this for a gratitude journal. Just with like bigger pages, I feel like it's a nice challenge to um, fill out the page. So who knows? But those are my three notebooks and they are my office staples. I love them and they're just fun and <laughs> they just tell a story and like are on theme. So anyway, I thought I would start with my notebooks. Next, I just have um, a little uh, notepad, but it's kind of like a list pad is what I call it in my head. I kind of go between post-it notes and list pad like this. And this is from Hobby Lobby again, but I will leave some other options down below. And it's just a little notepad that says make it happen. And I love to do my to-do list on this. So what I try to do, because I don't want to use like a sheet of paper every single day, just because it's a little bit wasteful, but it's also like, I don't want to go through it so fast. So I kind of do like my top four to five priorities of that day. And then I can use this for like, two to three days I'll just like do like one day and then a little line and then the next day and the next day and it's nice to do like top priorities that works well for me I love having some sort of like checklist system when I'm working and this sits like right next to my laptop so I can reference it all day long and it's just how I work best um so yeah I love this little notepad again I've done sticky notes in the past but um I thought that this was a little bit better for right now and it's cute and fun and I love the way it like looks sitting on my desk um, so yeah, I'll have a few options linked below and these are just so affordable. You see them at the grocery store all the time or Amazon. Um, so I'm sure there's some good ones out there for you guys. Okay. And the next thing that I have is this tortoiseshell file folder and I love this. I, um, for my job, I have like documents that I have to print out or contracts or like personal client things that I want to keep like written down and not on my computer. And I didn't have a place to store them. I was just like throwing them in my drawers and I felt like they were going to get lost eventually. So I searched online and I found this stunning tortoiseshell file folder and it actually came with two, which just made me want to buy it even more. Um, it's nice because I can use this one for work. You could use this for school or whatever. And then you could use the second one for like documents or bills, passports, whatever it is that you need to hold on to. So, um, obviously with like YouTube, I have stuff I want to hold on to. So it's nice to have um, a file for my personal brand and then something for work. So I love these. I love the tortoise shell. It's so chic and fun and it just like opens up like this and you have all of your little, um, spaces to put your stuff in. And it comes with these little like dividers, um, if you wanted to use, but I don't really like them. So I don't use them, but I figured um, I would show that just in case. But yeah, they're just like the perfect little pair and they're easy to store and they had some in lots of different patterns and stuff, but the tortoise shell was definitely my favorite. Okay, next I wanted to share just some like accessories that I really love that make my office like just flow perfectly and really exciting. So the first thing that I have, I've actually showed this before, but um, I showed it in my recent online purchases video, but I thought I'd include it here just because it is something that I use every day in my office. And if you didn't catch that video, you can see it here. So this is my AirPod case. It's just a blush pink AirPod case. It comes with a little clip. If you want to clip it on a backpack or inside your purse or something like that, I obviously am not going anywhere. So it just sits on my desk, but I love the blush pink. It works really well for like my color scheme in my life. It has a nice little flap and then it opens up to your AirPods and I love it. I've had it for a while now and I don't have any like wearing or tearing or anything like that. Again, I'm not super like rough with it. I don't throw it in a bag, but for the most part, it's been great. It was like $5 on Amazon, my favorite purchase ever. So yeah, I use those every single day. And the next up are my blue light blocking glasses. So I have two pairs. Both of them are very different. So there's a need for both of them, which I will get into. Um, but I love blue light blocking glasses. I pretty much wear them all day long, except when I'm like filming or something like that. But for the most part, I always have these on and they're really, really great. I love glasses. I've always loved them. And the fact that there's now glasses to like protect your eyes, but you like there's a use for them, but I don't need them, that sort of thing. I just feel like I'm finally in a club where I can wear glasses. So <laughs> I love them and they just make me feel so productive so put together even when I don't have any makeup on like these are perfect if you are jumping on a zoom call and you don't have makeup on but you still want to look presentable they're just like the perfect accessory so these are my first pair both of these are on Amazon so they're easy to link for you guys so I'll have them down below but these are a pink just blue light glasses this is the pink style and 
I love them. They're so cute. They're kind of like a thicker frame, um, but they're just so fun and different. I know there's a lot of like tortoiseshell or the clear ones, but I think the pink just adds like a nice little pop of color uh, to your face. <laughs> I just love them. I'm obsessed. So anyway, those are my new faves and I wear them literally every day, like I said, but um, when I need to like switch it up and I need something fun and then I have my other pair which are a little bit like thinner they are the tortoise shell style like I talked about which is a huge favorite on glasses and they're just a little bit rounder and thinner like I said but again I just put these on and I feel like I sit up straighter I work harder and it's just <laughs> so fun so if you haven't got um, your blue light glasses yet I would definitely check Amazon because they're a fun like introduction and way to like get them um again i have a couple pairs so it was like pretty affordable to do so and i'm someone that like i just like to change up my style a little bit so it's nice to have some options um so yeah blue light glasses are a huge favorite of mine in my office i have one more little like office essential but it's hanging on the wall and so i'm gonna show you guys that during the office tour so let's jump in to that office tour and I almost forgot to mention my last favorite are my little, oh, they're a little dirty, my home slippers. These I got at Walmart, but they are also on Amazon, so I can link them for you. And they're so fun. So if you want to feel really cute and cozy at your house, working in your office, get a pair of house slippers because they've been my best friends and I wear them every single day. Okay, so this is my office. Sebastian's is right there, but he's working and letting me <laughs> and letting me film. Um, but this is my office as you walk in. So I mentioned this in a vlog, but I turned my desk to be in the middle of the room just because I feel like I saw so much inspiration on Pinterest of people doing this, and it just made me feel like such. I hate to say it, but like such a boss. <laughs> And um, just like being in the center of my room, I feel like it just opened everything up. And this room isn't like decorated a ton, so it's nice to not have my desk on one wall and then nothing on the other. It's nice to kind of have it balanced with nothing on the walls, <laughs> basically. So you walk in and this is my desk. I've had questions on this desk before. This is the Alex desk, I believe. I'll have it linked because I forget the full name, but it, I got it at Ikea. So it's available and it works so well and I love it so much. It's been such a great desk. But right here, I just have this little tray full of my markers for my calendar on the wall. And then I just keep my AirPods here. I've also had like my post-it notes when I'm not out. I keep them here. It's nice to have a little something to put your things in on your desk. And I don't know, I like it there. It's very cute. I, I'm not somebody who like, needs to have a clear desk. I'm fine to have a couple of things. So I felt like that fit perfectly for the space here. And then coming around the desk, um, I just have my daily planner here. I also use this as like my daily gratitude journal. So I've showed how I organize this and use my daily planner. So I'll link that for you guys if you wanna check it out. But I always have that here because that's the first thing I do in the mornings. And then I always have my little make it happen to-do list. I write like my top priorities. You guys heard the spiel, but I always have that right here because as I'm working, it's nice to just kind of like reference that. I always have my water bottle here. I try really hard to be good at drinking my water. So that stays here. Throughout the day, I'll have coffee and lots of other drinks they'll like accumulate here on this desk but um, for now it's clean I have my laptop here which is always there and which is the reason why I have a job basically everything else is just stuff but my laptop is like a necessity um, and then I always have my phone here and I have this little stand these are all over I can link some on Amazon I got this one actually from an old employer and I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> so it's just like the perfect little thing. I put my YouTube on and I flip it over and I watch my YouTube or I just have it there like out of the way. And if someone like messages me, it pops up. I don't know. It's just like not needed, but actually needed. So me and Sebastian have kind of gone back and forth of who has this, but it's mine for right now. <laughs> and then this is my snake plant, which this little leaf is new and is growing so big. I actually think there's another one, but I got this at, oh, I think I got this at Lowe's and it's been so great. It's so healthy and it keeps growing and it just looks really pretty on my desk. I love to have like some sort of plant or life um, to look at. It's very fun. And then I just have a little picture of me and Sebastian, which I find myself looking at so often, which is so silly, but I'll just like look over at us and it's so cute and it reminds me of Brighton in the UK and it's just, 
It's like the best. And then I just have my little essential oil roller balls. This one I use all of the time. It's like a Valor um, blend. And I think this one is like focus or something. I think this one is like courage um, or like confidence. But anyway, so I put those on in the morning and I really like them. Um, and then this is my chair. I also got this at Ikea so I can link that. This little blanket I got from my friend for Christmas and I tend to get really cold and our house is always freezing. So I'm either wearing this or I'm covering my vent because closing it makes like an annoying sound so I just <laughs> cover it with my blanket and it's just it works so then I have my two drawers which this one I'll go into first because it's kind of like absolutely nothing this is like personal information that I haven't transferred to my cute new one um, but just like passports and marriage license and stuff like that and then this is just like <laughs> such a mess i should have like moved that before this video but i just have like extra cords extra um headphones if like for some reason my airpods aren't charged um and then i have like some camera stuff so this is like my hard drive this is like my adapter and that's kind of it i don't really use this drawer too much um because it's nice to have one that's just kind of open and then this one is like my office one so it's a little bit more full but great use. So these are all of my notebooks I've talked about. I keep them in here just because I kind of don't have like anywhere else to store them and I don't want them cluttering up my desk. So it's nice to put them in here. This is like my daily read. I just read like a little, it's kind of like a daily devotional, um, but not like religious. It's just like little quotes, but I've really been loving it. And then these are my um, blue light glasses. I have a little chapstick, which is the Glossier Coconut Balm.com. My favorite. I have this gum in here, which I don't like this gum, but maybe I put it in here to like remind me to chew it, but I never do. I clearly have a lot of tape <laughs> for not a lot of reasons, but it's good to have regardless. Um, a pair of scissors, and then I just have like pens and highlighters and markers, um, extra from over there, and yeah, it just does. It does a great job right there. So that's like my desk tour and it works well for me. We have a good system down. Okay, so on this wall here, I just have like this little thrifted, um, I'm trying to think what this is called, kind of like an accordion hanger. I don't know, but I have a couple hats on it. I clearly don't utilize it a lot, but then I just have my monthly calendar here. So this is like a whiteboard calendar. I got it off Amazon and I love it. I put things like fun activities that I'm doing, my YouTube schedule, any appointments, um, and then just like things for me. So like, I love to have the book of the month that I'm reading <laughs> and my, my monthly budget is hopefully going to be a hundred dollars. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> That's a new thing I'm trying. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to kind of be able to write a uh, little fun things to look forward to throughout the week, fun little appointments, but also a place for YouTube to live as well. And then this is my closet, which doesn't really have, like, I don't utilize it too, too much besides just to like store things. So like these are all of the books that I've read and like hair clips and I talked about it before, but I want to get a little mirror here, which actually my friend Morgan sent me like the cutest DIY for a mirror right here. Um, so hopefully I get time to do that because I would really love to. But on this side is just like some of my dad's things and my little sister and just like family things. And then I have my earrings here, which is why I want my mirror there to like put my earrings on every day. I think it would be like really cute. Um, and then just like a couple perfumes and like my little piggy bank. And then these are just like little pictures and some oils and more pictures. So I don't know, it works well because I don't really have like things to store in here. I like it just being like beauty and personal things and not like office stuff. So anyway, it does me well. This is like other like electronic things that I don't really use all the time, other tripods and wires and all of that ugly stuff that you never want to see. And then um, I just have like funny things that like my little sister drew and Sebastian was leaving me notes every day. So I just put them there. And that's kind of it for the closet. This wall is so, I still would love like something here, like a fun gallery wall. I don't know. It's just, I have trouble like finding, oh, it's out of focus which is probably for the best. So we can continue on. Um, this is like a cute little thing I've had for such a long time. And it's just a bunch of like my favorite Polaroids of me and my friends and Sebastian and my family and all of that. And then this is my mini fridge, which is <laughs> such a game changer. I didn't go out and buy this specifically. My mom bought this years ago and then just didn't want it. And I have like loved it ever since. I always wanted it and we had it in our garage for such a long time. And then I had just this brilliant idea one day to bring it into my office. So 
this is where it's at. On top of it, I just have a candle, my favorite quote, this is like my favorite Bible verse, uh, my diffuser, which I use all day, and then just like a little decor thing. And now I use this fridge every single day, <laughs> so it's probably a little bit bare. So this is my Mario Badescu, the cucumber and green tea facial spray, and I love putting it in the fridge. I'll spray it in the morning to wake myself up, turn on my diffuser. It is such an amazing experience. I love it so much. And then I just have this little um, exfoliating mask, which I do love. And I love to keep it in the fridge. Most of my masks are actually in the fridge. Um, I have my facial roller, which if you don't put yours in the fridge, it's such a game changer and it like wakes you up in the morning and it's so perfect. Um, and then I love to put like my sheet masks. So I have one more in here. And then this is like a little hydrating one. So anything like hydrating and cooling, I just love to put it, okay, maybe. I love to put it in the fridge, my little tray. Um, and then I just have like random things like this is a seltzer water. These were so disgusting. <laughs> I tried this at Trader Joe's, it was so gross. So I have one more left, which I'll probably never drink. And then I just have my Pure Leaf Sweet Tea, which I have a couple in there. I like to do this every once in a while, but I actually love to make my own tea, but that's good to have. And then I'm such a LaCroix fan. My favorite is the passion fruit. It's so good. So this is like my afternoon pick me up. So we're looking a little bare. We may need to like refill the fridge, but I don't really keep like, I don't know if you'd keep snacks. I should probably keep my string cheese right there, <laughs> but that would be bad. So this is just my like drink uh, station and it's really nice. I'm telling you if your mom has a mini fridge that she doesn't want, that's a game changer. Steal it from her. And then my little ledge. I have a couple things. This is my little uh, unicorn that my mom got me years ago. And then I have this picture of me and Sebastian on our wedding day, which is like one of our favorite pictures. And then I have this little basket, which kind of has random things. It has like, oh, we have like hand sanitizer, an extra chapstick, like a disinfectant, my essential oils. I don't know. It's just like a little... Nice place to put everything there. Again, this is what my office looks like every single day. This is where I sit, edit my videos, basically live my whole life in this little room. So that's why I really try to make it like as fun and bright and exciting as I can because I'm in here all day long. I do have the option to kind of like work anywhere and I can work on my couch or outside and it's fun to like switch it up that way. But for the most part, it's nice to have a nice little home base. So this is, this is where it is for me. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the tour. Thanks for letting me know this is something that you'd like to see. Again, everything that I mentioned and that I can link will be down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.